Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm going to show you a feature where we now have the ability to conditionally set the drill through page navigation option for a button, again through the use of slicer selections. This is actually quite similar to the conditional page navigation video I did, as far as the design and setup goes. But it's really great they included this feature for drill through capabilities as well. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So as you can see, this is actually very similar to the report that I had built previously where I showed how to use buttons to do the drill down functionality. Primary difference though is now I only have a single button and I have a slicer selection over here on the right which lets me pick the page that I want to go to. And then if I make a filter selection as implied here, I can now click this to go to either marketing details or go to industry details. Now this actually shares a lot of similarities with the functionality as well to be able to make a selection, in this case page name, and then go to corresponding page. I've done a video on that recently and I'll go ahead and link you over on the right or down below to that video. But this follows a very similar principle where I have a disconnected table with the drill through page names here and then a DAX calculation that harvests these names from here and then goes ahead and applies it to this button whenever I make a selection here to take me to the right page. So industry details will take me to that page as you can see here. And then same thing if I come back to the report and I change that to marketing details, make a filter selection, then I can go to the marketing page. Now let's go ahead and break down how this works. Come back over to the report page. Let's go ahead and take a look at this selection here. You'll notice that the first thing it says is make a filter selection. So just like with the drill through button without the dynamic page selection, without an active filter selection, that won't actually work or not. I do have a video that talks a bit more about the button functionality specifically for drill through in another video. So I'll go ahead and link you to that over on the right or down below. But let's just talk about how to incorporate the page navigation functionality. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the visualizations and I'm gonna open up action. You'll notice that there's actually two f of x symbols here, one for destination and one for enabled tooltip. And the destination determines where does the button go as far as the drill through. Again, that's very similar to the page navigation. Either way, there's a destination for either of those. An enabled tooltip is the tooltip that pops up when I do make a selection. So you'll notice that if I make a selection here, I do get a tooltip that pops up that says click to drill through to the marketing details page. I also have added some dynamic text as well to the actual button text that you can see here, which is why it says drill through to marketing details when I have marketing details selected. And if I select industry details, it says drill through to industry details. So besides just the page navigation, I've made the button very dynamic to reflect where it's going to navigate to. Open up my fields pane and show you a couple of these measures. I'll open this up. So you can see that the button text is basically just doing a selected value over here. That is this measure over here which simply just grabs the page name from this slicer selection, whether or not it's industry details or marketing details. And then the actual button text over here, if I open this up again, here we go. And what this is checking to see is whether or not either country or class is being filtered. That's a filter check, essentially. And if you look here, those are the two things that are on this visual. So if I do not have a filter on country or class, it doesn't show the new text. However, if I click on either class or country, then it changes the title down here. And that's being reflected in this part. So essentially, if the filter is happening, either of these are being filtered equals true, then return the name of drill through to whatever the page name is, or otherwise have the button say, make a filter selection. So that's the text that I'm showing on the actual button. Then similarly, my drill through tooltip that's the little thing that I get when I hover, click through to drill through to the corresponding page, which is the page name here, and whatever the page is. So that's what's gonna happen whenever you make a filter selection, and then you hover over that. So you can see that there's a lot of different ways to make this very dynamic and easy for the end user to understand how to use. One, you'll see that it's grayed out and it implies make a filter selection. And then it'll even say up in the tooltip, make a slicer or visual cross filter and page selection to enable drill through. So. I have to click that and I have to make sure a page selection is made in here. Then that text will change indicating they can click it. And then it's very clear on both the actual text and the tooltip that they can navigate to that page. And overall, I really like this functionality. Again, it functions very similarly to the page navigation option, but instead of navigating to that page with buttons, you are using the drill through function to go to those pages instead. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. 
And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.